Today's job is to entirely ignore the Invercar because the nipper is screeching, um, which suggests that the fan belt is slipping. And um, I've had a go at adjusting it, and uh, A, it's still loose, and B, I've run out of room on the tensioner. So um, that should suggest that the belt is knackered. So um, somewhere in the garage, um, I do have a belt. I wonder where I put it. Right, it's been a tiny engine bay. Um, getting at the alternator is going to be quite tricky. I'm hoping that just the adjuster nut will be enough for it to move and for me to change the belt. There's nothing else in here because it's such a simple little engine and a simple little car. So the only thing that's belt driven is the cam belt behind that cover and the alternator. Um, so the alternator is the only thing driven by this belt. We haven't got power steering or anything like that. Incidentally, that's anti-corrosion wax, not rust. I'm trying to stop rust getting in. Uh, right, um, I need, what do we reckon that is, 12? Let's go for 12. All right, um, get that in and that. Always the way that the ratchet spanner is going the wrong way. Right, there we go. It is indeed a 12. Oh, there we go. Let's back that off a nice amount and see if it'll move without me having to undo the main bolt, which is down the bottom and awful to get at. Well, I can't even get the camera in, that's how tiny this engine bay is. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to undo the main bolt, and that's going to be a pain in the backside. Ah, well, I've managed to get the um, old belt off. Um, just about, look at the state of that. That's um, cracking in many places. That was not long for this world. Uh, also it seems to be completely bare. I think that would have had teeth on it like this replacement at some point. Uh, you'll note that it says Daihatsu on the engine bay or on the engine cover because um, that's really what this is, just built in Malaysia. It is a mighty mirror. Mmm, mirror with Malaysian accent. No, the only way I'm going to get on that lower bolt is to get the car on ramps which is always interesting because it's a tiny engine with no torque and they're tiny wheels, it never likes going up on the ramps. Smell of clutch. I'm not convinced this is the right belt. Um, it seems to be shorter if I find something to pull it on. Look, there's quite a difference in diameter. See, it's the annoying thing when you live miles away from anywhere and nothing ever bloody fits. Well, this is turning into a bit of a faff because no one lists a belt for a Paragua nipper and the one that's been sent is the wrong one, it just will not fit. So I'm going to have to fit the old one again, which is very old, it's got a Daihatsu marking on, which makes me think it might even be the original belt. And um, I've now, thanks to a, um, a friend in K-Car circles, I've got the correct belt on the way. Um, so hopefully in a day or two we can continue this really easy job. We're into um, yet another day. It's um, I think three days after I last um, recorded a piece of camera about the nipper alternator belt challenge 
and uh, we've had a new one in the post and uh, if I can demonstrate using this handy pole here you see the very slight difference in length there really isn't a lot in it but this top one is by Gates it's a 6273 MC and uh, I've been assured that will fit uh, by my friend Mark Trenfield who I know through K cars in the park uh, he owns fantastic Daihatsu mirrors but he used to own a nipper which of course is a Daihatsu mirror with a Malaysian accent so the question is is it gonna fit very merrily let's introduce some electrical load just to check uh, lights on main beam heated rear window fog light um, heater on full blast might put the wipers on no squeals Turn all the things off now. Look, that's pretty much everything this car has. So that's the rear wiper. Don't, don't want that on. Fog light, do you want turned off? It doesn't really have much, the nipper. Oh, uh, lights. There we go. But um, yeah, the squeak seems to have been banished, so that's good. So thanks to Mark for giving me the part number. That seems to be working at three. Just while we're here, um, it looks like I might have to have another go at rust, rust proof in this cross member. It's gone amazingly crusty. I don't think the paint is very thick on these cars. There we go. I've got some Vactan rust converter working hard. And why does that panel rust out so readily? Probably because of this bit of foam on the bottom of the bonnet, which obviously just fills up with moisture and then just um, holds the moisture against that slam panel. Great design. So there you go, sort of a wonderful example of how even the smallest jobs on the simplest of cars can go wrong when you get the wrong bits. But thankfully we've got there, we finally managed to find the right belt for the job. And um, yeah, now the nipper is good to go again. So there you go, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments below, tell me how much you love the Perodua Nipper. And I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell.